What's going on guys? In this video, we are going to be creating our very own dividend function. So we all know that Google Finance uh, does not have a dividend yield function for whatever reason when it comes to individual stocks or ETFs. It is super frustrating. Uh, so there are ways to get around it. We have created dividend yield um, functions by scraping data from Yahoo Finance or Finviz, but that's not the best way to do it. It's kind of a messy function. It's very long and convoluted. And then when the tables change on the website, then it'll mess with our function and then it will essentially break. Very frustrating, super annoying, but today we are going to show you a more improved way to pull dividend data. You can see right here, I have a couple of dividend stock and we all know good old Google Finance uh, name. And then we have Google Finance price, which is right here. But then for the yield, take a look at this equals dividend A2. And then I multiplied it by one. So it would turn into a percentage. If we get rid of that, it'll just be a decimal point. But this is super clean and super simple. And hopefully it will last indefinitely and not break like when we scrape data from Yahoo Finance or Finviz. And then the payout is simple. It's just the yield times the price. But let's learn how to make this function. It does involve a little bit of coding in app scripts, but it's not a lot of code. It's only seven short lines and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. But before that, let's make sure that this code actually works. Let's put in a couple more stock. How about Procter & Gamble? See, everything loads. We'll do one more. How about 3M? Everything loads and let's check our work. So Target, we got 2.66% dividend yield. Let's jump over to Seeking Alpha and you can see yield 2.66 right here. So it looks like we're good. And one thing I did notice, the payout says $4.31, but Seeking Alpha is saying $4.32. If we're off by a penny, I'm not that concerned. We just want to make sure that the yield is accurate or at least within one one hundredth of a percentage and we're fine. Uh, so how do we do this? Again, it's a very simple code. So let's open up a new sheet and we'll just punch in what I had, which was the ticker, name, price, yield and then payout and we'll put in our first ticker which was target and then we know that it's google finance hold the cell and then name and that's how we got the name like before this is all we should already know how to do this this one's even easier it's google finance just the cell and that's it but now when we get to yield this is when we need to create our actual function how do we do that we're going to go up to extensions we're going to app script and that's going to load and before we do this we need to jump over to alphavantage.co this is what the website looks like the link will be in the description to you for you to click on what's really cool you can see right here get your free api key completely free we're utilizing an api key so we could pull our dividend data and uh, the best part is you don't have to pay for it. I don't know if this will necessarily work uh, beyond getting data like dividend data where you only need it every once in a while. Uh, if you want to try doing more intricate day trading stuff and you'd need to be pulling from a website repetitively throughout an hour or even a minute. I don't know if this would necessarily work. So we're just going to focus on the dividend data one. Uh, we're going to click get your free API key. And you don't even have to create an account or anything. You just got to put in what you are. So I'll do educator and then think stocks and then my email. I hit get free API key. I already did this. So it's going to say you already have an API key, but it's going to look something like this. Uh, it's going to say here's your API key or along those lines. And you can see mine's right here. It says that you already have one. So you're just going to copy this, highlight your API key, control C. So now you have it. And then we could jump back over to our app scripts. And here are the seven lines worth of code. We're actually going to delete all of this. We don't need that. The first one is going to be function dividend, or you can name this whatever you want, really. If you don't want it to be dividend, if you want to do div for short, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, we're going to do dividend, open parentheses, and then I'm going to type in ticker, go on the outside of that hit space and then do a squiggly bracket. And then we are going to hit enter. I call it squiggly bracket. I think it's a different name, but whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. The first one is going to be var API key. Make sure your K is capitalized. That is very important. Equals space open quotation. And then this is where we're going to hit control V. 
you're going to put your API key in here and then go on the outside of the quotation and we're going to do semicolon and then hit enter. Next var is going to be URL. So we need to know which URL we're pulling from and you're going to do equals open quotation HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www dot alpha vantage dot co not com but co forward slash query now everything needs to be exact but you guys already know that question mark function equals and then in capital over view and symbol or ampers ampersign symbol and symbol is lowercase equals and then we're going to jump on the other side of that quotation hit space and we're going to do plus space ticker space plus open quotation ampersand or it ampersand API key. Now the K in that one is not capitalized equals jump on the other side of the quotation, do another plus and then API. And then this key will be capitalized. So make sure you have that hit semicolon and then you're going to hit enter on line four. It's going to be another var response equals URL fetch app. So the U, the F and the A are all capitalized dot fetch all lowercase open parentheses URL. I'm going to jump on the outside of that, do the semicolon, hit enter. We're more than halfway done. Var data equals JSON all capitalized dot P A R S E open parentheses response dot get content. I'm going to hit enter. So it completes the content text open, close, close semicolon hit enter var dividend yield the y is capitalized here equals data square bracket quotation dividend yield the y is capitalized here and then you're going to jump on the outside of the square bracket you're going to hit semicolon hit enter and then i'm going to type in return dividend yield dividend yield close the semicolon i'm going to drop down that's it we can hit save and then we can hit run and this is going to pop up authorization so we're going to hit review permissions and we want to allow it so you're going to hit on your email it's going to say danger it's not verified but it's you so don't worry about it. You're going to hit advance. You're going to go to untitled project. You're going to hit allow. And then as long as you don't have any grammatical errors or spelling errors, you didn't miss a semicolon somewhere. Everything's capitalized. That's supposed to be capitalized and lowercase. That's supposed to be lowercase should say execution started and execution completed. So we could X out of that. Now we're going to jump back to our sheet and let's see if we got it right. We're going to hit equals. You're going to type in dividend open parentheses. We're going to hit target close parentheses and hit enter loading. And then there we go. There's our decimal point 0.0266. I'm going to do now multiply by one hit enter. And we're going to highlight this field and we're going to do parentheses. And then there we go. There's our 2.66%. And then for payout, we're going to do equals the price multiplied by our yield hit enter. And then we can make this dollar sign. We can make our price dollar sign and then we'll drop this down. And the other one I had the if is blank, so we wouldn't get the NA error. That just stays at 0%, that's NA. And then you can see, let's type in, how about JP Morgan? That will all load and that looks like it's good. And how about MMM? Hit enter and all of that loads. And then this is how, uh, it's another way that you could get dividend data and it's a more efficient way than scraping data from Finviz or Yahoo Finance because as soon as the website changes its code for, uh, on the back end, it will then mess with our sheets. Hopefully, we don't know, but we will find out as time goes on. Hopefully, Alpha Vantage will kind of keep its code the same so it won't mess with it because now we could take this code add it into our more complex sheets and be able to get our dividend yields and get our payouts but guys if you liked this video make sure to smash that like button and as always i will see you in the next one